Hi, my name is Zoe Carter, and this is a video to talk about one of my books, Matthew Mouse, a story from the Wise Owls Library, designed to teach the principles of Proverbs to children. And this story is a lesson about avoiding bad company. This is something that I find surprisingly lacking in many educational programs, both inside and outside of the church. Much emphasis is given towards inclusion, kindness and friendship. And these are vital topics that do need to be taught, but they need to be balanced. For simplicity, we tend to equate being loving with friendship and saying that we need to be friends with everyone but it's just not true. There are people that we should not be friends with. Even at school age, there are those who want to play dangerous, unkind games. And the tool that is often used to pressurise others is the classic line, if you don't do this, I won't be your friend anymore. And if a child is taught that the most important thing is to be friends with everyone, then this leads to much trouble. Even if a child does not do anything wrong, there is still guilt by association. If they are always seen next to the troublemaker, they will inevitably be assumed to be a part of the trouble. I sometimes hear it taught that toxic people do what they do because they are lonely and by being their friend, you can make them better. This rarely holds up in the real world. What tends to happen is that you get dragged down with them and they get worse by being enabled to act badly towards you. By maintaining friendship with users and abusers, you are actually rewarding their bad behaviour and reinforcing it. This is not about withholding forgiveness, but about tough love and true goodness rather than superficial niceness. There will come a point in our lives when we need to dissociate with people and end friendships. And this is sometimes the most loving thing to do. It's not just about protecting ourselves, although that is a part of it, but also it's about loving that person by teaching them that they can't act badly towards people without consequences. And sometimes ending a friendship, even though it can feel counterintuitive, is the most selfless, helpful and correcting message that they can hear. In Matthew Mouse, Matthew learns the danger of bad company. He learns that we can be kind to everyone, but that we need to pick our friends much more carefully. Matthew Mouse is available from Amazon.